That's going to do it for Retro Roulette. Thanks for watching. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Ford Jones and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette. Best game of the episode, Dane. Bust a move. Jason. Bust a nut. Billy. Flatus bag. Bust a move. Yeah, I'm going to go with bust a move too. All right, let's check out and see what the third game of today's episode is going to be. Uh, yep, just spin it. Spin you know, it. I had a whole joke that I was I had a whole joke that I was going to make, but now Mike's throwing me off. Dagnabbit. All right. I mean, we have to get to it eventually. Dagnabbit, it, baby. We do we do have uh I think we have two vetoes actually. Uh, you know what? I'm fine with basketball games. Really, the you only... Know, the... If memory serves correctly, this is basically... We have NBA Jam at home. Really, the only sports games that I will ever veto without even a second thought is a golf game. Unless it's Mario Golf. One, two, three, four. So, as we are recording this uh -huh. i have something i have something very very important to tell all of you um geek chic fans especially movie fans especially kaiju fans godzilla minus is one. now a part minus one is an academy award-winning movie is, yep. That's that's awesome. And well deserved. And also yeah. And also The Boy and the Heron is a Academy Award winning movie as well. That's cool. Yep. That's right. You know what? I, you got to love how an incomplete movie, you know, the the second Spider-Verse movie which literally ended on to be continued, you know, Shamik Moore, the 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 guy who plays uh, Miles Morales, was like, "We were robbed on Twitter," and I'm like, "No, you weren't. Shut up." Did the first one win Best Animated yeah, Feature? Yeah, did. So then, what the fuck? <laughs> then shut up, you big whining crybaby. Ah. God. The Seattle Super Sonicas. I'm almost certain oh, that, team, that, that team does not exist anymore, correct? <laughs> no, they're the Oklahoma City Thunder now. Yeah. Oh, gee, Not a Jew. Not a Jew. Not a Jew. Yo, I guess you wish. Hold a famer, Rod Carew. Rod Carew. You think? I'd like to take the moment to point out the... Uh, the reflection of the basketball goal on the floor. <laughs> um, That's very weird looking to me. You know, it's almost I like mean, they modeled a 3D version of the court under the court, flipped it upside down, and made the court semi-transparent so you could see it. Okay, Mike, I wanted this to come from me, but you know um, Stranger Things, how they have like the flipped over universe? Oh, the upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, th this, is, this is the upside down. Oh no! I, I've never watched. Uh, I've never watched uh, Stranger Things, so I'm just going to smile and nod. I have never watched Stranger hey. Things. Stranger Things in this show, that is. Well, now, well, Jace, now you know how I feel when you when you describe anime like, "Hey, Dave, did you see that anime about the sentient uh, Sega Genesis game that licks people?" Oh. Well, uh, you know, you know what this does remind me of, though, the Mirror World in Kamen Rider Ryuki. Just, I'm just going to smile and nod. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> an, the Animus. I get it. The uh, Animus. Wait, wait, wait. No, American reference. Common Rider Dragon Knight. There we go. Yep. That's the American um, version. Sure. Common Rider dragging these nuts across your <laughs> face. I got him. I don't no. I don't know Common Rider um, 1 from Common Rider 0. I don't know. I don't know any of the common writers. I'm not an anime fan. Actually, actually, that's that's funny because Common Rider One is a thing, 
the first two common riders are literally if you were to translate their name common rider one and two well see look at that mike you you know more than you Ichigo think go and nigo yeah but it was an educated guess based on the fact that there's a common rider pretty much anything <laughs> I could probably randomly I say mean, a color, and it would probably be a common rider. Common rider black, Is that a thing? Is actually, it, yes. Let's see. I I don't have to even. You don't even have to be good in this world. You just have to put out minimal effort. How about how about <laughs> common? How about here's, common here's rider? Here's the thing. Yes. <laughs> common rider black wound up getting a gritty reboot on uh, Amazon Prime. Common Rider Black Sun. <laughs> Common Rider Prime. <laughs> Common Rider Black Hole Sun. Won't, Won't you come <laughs> and wash away the rain? The rain. Also, oh. Common Rider Zero One was a thing as well. <laughs> Man, you know, my favorite was uh, Common Rider Pussy Lips. <laughs> <laughs> it was just. I don't know. I was partial to Common Rider anal leakage myself. Yeah, you know, Common Rider anal leakage. After episode seven, I started losing interest. Yeah, it started to smell funny. Yeah, it was running down your jeans. <laughs> kind of just. <laughs> I'm just imagining Jay sitting there, like. Do you Do you remember stories. the one that came out in 1998? Uh, Common Rider 64. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you, you remember the one? Jace is slowly that, dying inside. <laughs> I hate, I hate the both of you. Oh. The franchise was on hiatus in the late nineties. Anyway, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> legit, legit, the franchise was on hiatus. In Do you the remember Common uh, Rider General Hospital then? Um, <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of people, a lot of people making out. And just shots of people staring intently at other people. Uh, you weird. know, there was there was a season where people were infected by video game viruses, and the the heroes were were gamer doctors. It was incredibly silly, and uh, Tanahashi was the villain in the movie. Hey, listen, if you, thought, if you thought that was incredibly silly, wait till you see the short-lived uh, Common Rider Texas Ranger. It's it's just <laughs> really a lot of roundhouse kicks. I was going to say, all you of know, it is people that, roundhouse kicking each other. That's the, cliche, that's the cliche in Super Sentai, is inserting a random cowboy into it. Happy birthday! I, it's better than the alternative, which is inserting something random into a cowboy. Well, unless you're doing broke well, back uh, then. That's fair. Well, that's not exactly random. That's a in, penis. <laughs> in, in two different, in two different ninja seasons. What the fuck was that? Hold cowboys. on. Can we can we can we stop to appreciate a second that Shaquille O'Neal just jumped at the rim without having the basketball in his hand? Her. I just like I love dropping out the hoop. Dream over the hoop. Listen, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I let other, Co- I let Kobe other. Bryant and Rick Fox carry me. <laughs> uh, no, no. If you excuse me, I'm gonna go sell some hot, icy hot and uh, car insurance, and and also printer ink. What? <laughs> uh, what? Are you, I'm not a slut. What are you talking about? My, my dick is so yeah, big. But, uh, but my, my dick is so big it fell off and called start calling itself Kevin Hart. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You got it all wrong. His dick fell off and became Chris Tucker. Ah, oh, that's fair. <laughs> Damn, man. I'm a penis. <laughs> you ever use one of these? <laughs> you, you sounded... You sounded... More like MC Chris than Chris Tucker. <laughs> hey, where's Agent Zero? MC Chris Tucker. It's a combination of both men. <laughs> okay, hey, I'm going to therapy. Hey, I'm MC P Pants. You ever use one of these? <laughs> Did anybody ever tell you that one of my unconscious was a super spreader event? <laughs> 
that that was unfortunately due to uh, his opening act having had COVID. Apparently, listen here, okay. listen here, Fryman. I'm gonna go make a movie with uh, Jackie Chan. And and yet that opening act is his opening act for his upcoming concert tour because he's on tour again. He said he was done which, touring. Which brings me to the live concert uh, series, uh, Common Rider Live at Wembley. Did you ever see that one? Um, I actually saw a Common Rider unplugged. Oh, that's one of their best. Yeah, when, it was when Common Rider started acclaimed. singing, when Common Rider started singing "All Apologies," I thought I saw God. Yes. And then they went right into a cover of David Bowie's The Man Who Sold the World. Mwah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, then a short while later, he fucking shot himself. Weird. Man. <laughs> Man! If it I, I, I still think it was Common Love's fault. <laughs> understand, understand the Common Love. <laughs> Jace is just so, like, what about the what about the side series Common Rider? Fuck you guys. Common Rider, <laughs> Common Rider, I need new friends. Uh, In I fairness, so we're going Dan an and I are making fun of something we barely fucking understand. So like, give us a break. <laughs> break us off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Listen for all the flaming uh, that you got. You that know, every the viewers so could do in the I comments. Learned, Every so often I learn something, too, that I go, oh, my God, I did not know that. Like, apparently Common yeah. Rider had a freaking Sega CD game that yeah. made it to America. And today you learned that your oh. friends are assholes. <laughs> Speaking of Sega stuff, now I went to Sega. a couple of days ago, and Jace can attest to this because I actually called him and uh, was giving him the play-by-play. -play. I went to a retro video game store looking for some sega games and it was just a hot pile of garbage it was 90 yep. percent sports titles damn yep yeah dane wanted to uh bust some kneecaps i remember i, I remember hot pile of garbage 64. yeah I, I well, actually, mission, I believe that. That's Mission Impossible. No, it was either that or Dark Rift. That was the one I was going to go with. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. The, the what was worse, Dark Rift or Mission Impossible? Oh, God. That's a tough call. Actually, I, I think I'd give it to Dark Rift because at least Mission Impossible didn't feature a giant demonic clit. <laughs> well. <laughs> The one you, saving grace that y'all are shooting at through the backboard. What the fuck is this collision detection? Come on, guys. The one saving grace that the retro store had was that the guys who worked there were very nice. They weren't like, oh, oh this game cost four hundred dollars, you Philistine. <laughs> <laughs> this this the, game is a love of these This, was, this oh, is a player's choice edition, you Albuquerque, New Mexico. Wow! Wow! Did you, Listen, did you just this me? this is a rare one of a kind inbox copy. You, Greg Papadopoulos. <gasps> you know you better you better watch your filthy <laughs> mouth before before you say something you regret. Uh, Do you understand me? You 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 Des Moines, Iowa. <laughs> Guys, guys, you're both equally Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> oh, no, people no. are making meth inside of us. No. <laughs> How dare you? Out of context quotes for the win. <laughs> remember, uh, remember when we did the best uh, when we did the best subs for the metal cast? And they started with a bunch of just out of context quotes uh, edited together. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> we're just saying a bunch of out of context so I quotes. Guess you could, I, I guess you could say that it's all out of left field. Hey, -o. productions. 
No, that was uh, that was that, no, that was bad. You should feel bad. <laughs> I will love and fulfill my Gracias. That's still my favorite thing is he gets it was like the first or second episode and he gets up and he goes Gracias and it's just in that voice it's fucking hilarious. So uh Today I learned that uh Rob Paulson and uh Who's having a birthday at the, at the day of this recording, I believe. Yeah. Well, uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Actually, March, March 11th. Uh, because, to, today is March 11th. March 11th. That we're recording this. Because, because today, the day of the recording, is also the birthday of another famous voice actor. Um, Maurice LaMarche? No. Um, Bob Saget? Who are you rolling with? No. Pick a pick a pick a Bob Saget. Frank Welker. Oh, the illest, the illest motherfucker Megatron. in a cardigan sweater. That was my next guess. Frank, and, Wel- and, Frank uh, Welker. Fred. <laughs> what what voices has Frank Welker done? We could be here for fucking yes. years. Yeah, <laughs> yes is the answer. I mean, like a- animals, various animals. Like just off the top of my head, Scooby Doo. <laughs> Astro, uh, yeah, a, bu- a shit ton of Transformers, yeah, specifically Megatron and Soundwave. Anyway, thoughts on Kobe O'Brien? Kobe O'Brien? Kobe O? Kobe O'Brien? Oh, did he? Oh, did he? I love that Kobe O'Brien game. I thought it was lovely. Kobe O'Brien. Kobe O'Brien's NBA courtside. Oh, we tell you, we are the liar of a char. Oh, here's Billy Carter to make our outro oh, it's anachronistic. The walking, it's the walking <laughs> Irish potato himself. Uh, I, I'm sorry, guys, I'm late. I had to take some stuff to my uncle. You know what? No, you, this is absolutely inexcusable. Okay. And I, I, I don't know. Anyway, this was just. Yeah. This was just. It was okay. You know, it's not a. It's rare that you get a really, really bad basketball game. This was more just paint by numbers than anything else. Yeah, it was. <laughs> like I said, we have NBA Jam at home. Yeah, it, <laughs> NBA Jam was a lot more fun than this. This is kind of just a exactly. run of the mill basketball game. It's it's not even. It looks the c- collision detection looks off. Uh, the player models look off. It's just I don't know. I don't. I don't. Kobe, you could have done better. This 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 was back when Nintendo was trying to chase what all the other companies were doing. We have flagship games. Look, Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball, Kobe Bryant Basketball, Baseball. N- Nintendo, no, just stick to slapping Mario on everything. All right. Uh, so scores out of ten, Dane. Well, uh, hey, hang on. Let me come back into the room. I'll give it a four. Uh, Jason. Three. Yeah, four. <laughs> to, to think, like, Nintendo even almost tried making their own first-party uh, football game on the GameCube until they got the rights to Madden at the last second uh, on GameCube. And they're like, oh, we don't need football anymore. We got Madden. You it's, imagine- it's cool. It's okay. We got Madden. Can you imagine a Mario football game? I'd play that. All right, let's uh, I mean, spin, for the, it. spin it for the second based, game of the episode. Based on how the, uh, based on how the uh, soccer game turned out, I, I assume it would be equally as violent. Strikers? All right, I am definitely no, nothing down. Nothing more satisfying than uh, definitely down for this. body checking uh, people into invisible electric fences. Climb entertainment. Last two. Two. Hi, okay. two. Yep. Which is funny because they're owned by uh, Square Enix now. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
Hey, is that the that's, oh. only the, that's the bubble bobble guy? What yeah. the hell? Yeah. Yep. Grandpa. Uh, this is a rare 2D game on the N64. Hmm. It would be hard to do a 3D version of that. True. Oh, they did. I mean, if they could do Tetris Spear. I mean, I guess that's a little different. I mean, yeah, I mean this is quite literally the SNK game. Pretty much. But I'm a. Uh, I, I, I actually like the, really like this game. So I will say, Damn. there's there's quite a few games that Mike is inherently just perfect at. Uh, Doom, and uh, it is amongst them. And one of them is uh, Buster Move. Yep. He is a Buster Move. He's good at Tetris too. I, I found myself really good at fucking, like, columns as well. Remember that? Oh, I'm good at that one, too. That game's awesome. Oh, well, you were also good at a... at a Hattress, which is just basically... I guess columns adjacent. Columns of Jason? Yeah. Jason. I, I made several columns, and I put Jason's face on them. Did you have his permission? Uh -huh. That's a lot of me. <laughs> well, no, no. See, that's the great part. It was actually different Jasons, like Jason Statham, uh, Jason Sensation. Jason Voorhees? Jason, yeah. Mm hmm. Jason Sensation, who did the impersonation in the Nation of Domination? Yes. Okay. Now you can see, now you got it. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I hope we don't end up playing, uh, uh, I hope we don't end up playing NBA courtside. That would be fucking weird. Uh, fucking weird. Because then, damn it. Because because then uh -oh. we would have to say that this is the best game we played. <laughs> yeah, <It's> true. <laughs> but, but it's more likely this will be the best game that we play for this session. Because I've not heard one person. It's like, bust the move sucks. Not heard one person ever say that. You'll never hear me hey, say. Bill. It. Hey, Bill. Never hear yeah. you say it. Bust a move sucks. I'm going to beat your head in while you sleep tonight. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. A little violent. All right. With my butt. Oh, God. That's shitty. <laughs> and I won't wipe. Oh. God damn it. That's that's chemical warfare. Yeah, it, it, is. it really say, is, uh, yeah. Billy, Billy's uh, doing his best impression of Rikishi from uh, SmackDown right now. Yeah, I'm about to back my ass up. On It'd be you. better than if the, he hit you with his dick, because that would be assault with a dead weapon. <laughs> it's true. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, my death my. perception really kind of hinders me in this game. I, I, I once forget that, me. Once that dot guide is gone, then I just have problems trying to aim. I, I forget that you got your depth perception is it so See. key. So key. Could you in this game in 3D then? Oh. I might be able to judge it better in 3D, I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, enough. There's, there's depth. <laughs> depth. Whoa. A lot of yellow. A lot of yellow balls. My mom you made you. My mom made bean soup for dinner. Oh, it's so good. That's bean, oh, yeah. Bean what? Soup? That's exactly what you fucking need, Billy. Is bean soup. <laughs> beans. <laughs> he put three different types beans. of beans in there and ham. At home. So, for tomorrow, there's going to be a lot of music. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of mo a lot of jazz coming out of your ass. <laughs> yeah. love, that, love that modern I ass trumpeting. Oh, it's a John Cage album. 
Lovely. Yeah, silent, <laughs> silent but deadly. Hmm. You know, these these photorealistic backgrounds are a little disturbing for this game. They don't really fit the cute aesthetic of the little uh, dinosaur dude shooting bubbles. Boobles. The music definitely I the does. Cool <laughs> I met the coolest chick. Yeah. Uh, I, I met the coolest chick at Tim Hortons the other day, or yesterday, actually. Okay. Oh wow. You have you still have Tim uh, Hortons in your area? Oh, I'm one hour from Canada. Yeah, true. Yeah, where I and live. And then whenever I, an owl comes by and perches on the ledge, Tim Hortons hears a who. <laughs> um. She was like this cool rocker chick. Shit. I walk in and she's got the piercings, the tattoo on the neck, you know, wearing uh she was wearing like a, a cardigan type sweater with, you know, like, um, you know, like a skeleton. Yeah. yeah. And uh, she wore a skeleton legging. She had a Thor necklace on and and then we, we were talking and then, then she mentioned she had four kids and a boyfriend. And I'm like, ah, dang it. <laughs> You literally, you literally just yelled at her like, ah. Oh no! I didn't <laughs> See, yell at just her. Like, but, damn it! I wanted to put it in you. But my, in my head, I'm like, <laughs> dang it! She was, and she was uh, thick in all the right places, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> what? Uh, hey, what that mouth do? So, uh, I, I gotta say. A meme that's gone viral, and I've been loving the creative ways that people have edited it into everything. Cerveza Crystal. Cerveza Crystal. So hmm. Basically, in Chile, in the 90s, they played Star Wars on television and edited beer commercials into the trilogy. Oh! Directly yeah. into the movie. I, I heard about that. I was I was yeah. watching the I was listening to the Bob and Tom show and they were talking about that. Like and... Cole Bear expertly made fun of it, like right down to actually like doing the Cerveza Crystal joke himself. But since then, everybody's been inserting it into everything. It was like, like it was like Obi Wan or it, that scene he went to go grab Obi Wan something. reaching for the lightsaber. Uh, or uh, the emperor going to sit down in the chair, and then he waves his hand, and the beer just flies through the air into his hand. Yeah. Yeah, and the music, the jingle comes on. Cerveza Cristal. It is the most unhinged thing ever. It's like you think you could have done a uh, commercial break. Nope, they, yeah. they, they thought that people would not sit around for a commercial break, so they literally cut commercials into the movie. You can tell they were new at television at the time. <laughs> yeah. It's like you look at some of the, uh, the Turkish movies in the 70s, and you're like... Oh, yeah, they, yeah. It's like, they just started this industry, didn't they? <laughs> Oh man, I can't wait for Turkish Aquaman. It probably oh, already uh, is. I just haven't discovered it. Hey, hey, Boogie. Well, Boogie, uh, Boogie, 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 Boogie. Billy, you know the uh, the the scene that uh, gets memed from uh, the anime Freerin with the uh, the potion bottle. The, you know, this is this is I I know what to give him as a gift. I'm sure all boys would like this. It's a potion that dissolves uh, clothing. <laughs> yeah, you've, okay. you've seen that, right? I, 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 quite a ways back, but yeah, I, I can, I remember it. Yeah, somebody cut Cerveza Crystal into it. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid! I it's freaking died. Dumb. Somebody posted it onto a Discord as just potion.mp4, and I went. Oh, what's this? And I click it, and it starts off as the clip, and I'm going, "Oh, yeah, it's, it's that." And clip when they go to show the potion bottle, and then, like she the can of she beer. Opens for it. 
Sergey's the freestyle. I'm just like, God damn it! I got Rick rolled again. I got crystalled again. It's 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 the new uh, it's the new Rick roll. Inserting Cerveza Crystal ads into whatever it is. I can tell you somebody why. Did, uh, somebody did it with Common Rider Geats, too. Yeah, they did. I can tell you why. Did you just say go slam your dick in a puss? <laughs> <laughs> Um, the game grumps a bit. They they have they have gotten really creative with the Rick rolls, you know, and I, I'm astonished yeah. that that meme, that that meme has lasted this long. That meme is nearly 20 years old. And the best part about it yeah, is that Rick Astley's, the best part about it is that Rick Astley is apparently a big fan of. It. Oh, it revitalized his career. Yeah. Well, thank you for revitalizing my career. He says people started, you know, looking at his music because of that meme, and he got a whole new fan base because of it, of younger people. Good for him. I don't like that the game calls me an asshole when I lose. But we've been telling you that for years, Mike. I'm okay with you. should be used to it by now. When you got... When you guys do it, it's fine. I know you guys. I don't know this. <laughs> well, I mean, the, I'm not. I've the, I've never met this is, game. You're playing bust a move right now, and the game's calling you an asshole. If you were playing a hockey game, you'd be scoring a goal. That's you fair. fat, 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 score a goal. Yay! Um, just just hit the sparkly thing up there. I gotta wait for a red one. Like this. Jeez. See, there we go. Because it only you gotta it, it only gets rid of the color you hit it with. So I had to wait for a red one so it would clear the whole board. So my mama I didn't raise no dummy. So I, I ordered a bunch of Kirby stickers online. I ordered one hundred nice. of them. One hundred Kirby stickers. <laughs> oh, one hundred Kirby. Kirby's. Oh, I, I got Christian Kerbo in here. Is that too. the is that uh, the is that a new Street Sweeper Social Club song? One hundred Kirby stickers. Whoa, uh, sure. Never mind. <laughs> Boots Riley died in vain. Boots Riley died. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did Boots Riley die on the way to their home planet? I don't even think he's actually yes. dead. I'm just saying. <laughs> He did roll in his grave, though. So, uh, so, somebody pointed out, I, I saw a statistic. Despite having, like, a 1,200-something day streak as champion for Roman Reigns, uh -huh. he's only defended the belt 59 times. True. Compared That's... to other people... Like who, Hogan, who, who had defended it every, who who handled it every week. Who I mean, who defended it every week. Yeah. Uh, no. Who else? The, the Rock defended it more in in a four month period. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I can't wait for the promos. When the Rock turns on freaking Roman, oh, it's gonna be great. That's what's gonna happen. You have an erection, Jabroni. Oh, not and that kind of turn on. Sorry. <laughs> and, and then he'll hold the championship for about oh a year and wrestle three times. Oh, the, the Rock. The Rock doesn't need to hold on to the championship because he's a freaking member of the board. Yeah. Listen. He'll just. Yeah, he'll just turn on him and... Uh, <laughs> the member of the board, Frank Sinatra Jr. <laughs> if if Cody oh, Rhodes doesn't Cody have his Cody. story finished, just, I, I don't even know. People want Cody to be champion. That's what they want. Money. Yeah. That's what they'll do. That's what they'll do. Oh, the game totally <laughs> screwed you. Yeah. That's what they'll do if they want money, because right now Cody is... Freaking blue heat hot or white 
fire hot right now. Pick a color, Billy. Yeah. He'll do the Cthulhu. <laughs> because Cody Rhodes right now is orange Mountain Dew live wire hot. Orange Julius hot. He's, he's blurple. Blurple hot. Blurple, blurple yeah. hot. Exactly. Wait, how how hot is blurple? Pretty, pretty, Very pretty hot. fucking hot, yeah. <laughs> mm, pretty fucking hot. <laughs> hey, Pamela Anderson, she's blurple. Yeah, she just looks like a blurple now. Blurple's so hot it tried to sue Paris Hilton for stealing its catchphrase. Mmm. <laughs> That's blur. You know something? That's blurple. <laughs> Paris Hilton had a stroke, apparently. <laughs> Guy blurple! You know what? That's blurple. Uh, Paris, do you need to go to the hospital? You see, you see, you see they don't need uh, they don't they don't need Justin Roiland. They could just hire someone like me, you know, to, to yeah. make nonsense words up. That's right. And Jason, Jason, Jason has never assaulted anyone. Exactly. <laughs> Sexually Except or our otherwise. Children. No, not insulted, Billy. Assault. Oh. Assaulted. Oh, okay. The only thing that, the only thing Jace has assaulted is my heart, because he's so hot, son. That and a really good hamburger. I thought you were gonna say hand job. No, no, no. <laughs> Get your bite out of the gutter. No, I lived there, but if it wasn't for the gutter, Mike's Mike's mind would be homeless. Yeah, if it wasn't for the, if it wasn't for the gutter, I'd be completely homeless. That's true. Mama mia. My mind wasn't in the gutter. I wouldn't have a mind. What are you talking about, dude? What are you talking about? <laughs> me. What? 69, dude. 69, dude. Okay, stop giving me extras. There we go. God damn. Uh, Time bonus is nothing. All right. Uh, th thoughts on Bust a Move 2 Arcade Edition, Dane? It was very good. Well, then again, it's supposed to move, so there's really no person on Earth that's going to be like, this game is stupid. It's poopy. It's a so, stupid, yeah. poopy, doopy head. It's true. Jason. This game is stupid. It's poopy. It's, uh, it's poopy. 64 megs of garbage. But but seriously, I mean, like, it's, 60, it's 60, supposed to move. It's 64. the same game. 64 Megs would be pay Peter Griffin's worst nightmare. Uh, shut up, Meg. Shut up, Meg. Shut up, Meg. Shut up, <laughs> shut up 64 Megs. But, but, but in all seriousness, it is a good game. It is a very good game. I I, I enjoy a good game of Bust a Move. Uh, Billy. I always like these games. I, I want a, an enamel pin of the little guy down in the bottom there. Oh, I forgot that this game goes to screensaver oh, uh, if you leave us it. <laughs> I forgot that was a thing this does. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, wait, what's going on? Oh, yeah. Now I remember. Uh, yeah, I love Bust a Move. Uh, I've never not loved Bust a Nut. Bust a Move. Bust a Nut. <laughs> Bust a Nut 2 Arcade Edition. No, I've never not loved Bust a Move. It's uh, it's always been a lot of fun to play. Uh, there'll be another Bust one coming down the line for the uh, Bust a Move 99s coming very, uh, very, very rapidly down the line. Um, so with that in with that in mind, Dane scores out of ten. Damn. Jason. Nine. Billy. Ten. I'm gonna give it a ten. Busted at two, coming in your hoodie hoo. Bust a nut too. Do you, do you mind? Bustin' Boogaloo. Bustin, 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 bustin. Bustin, 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 bustin. All right, let's see what we're playing. The first game of this episode. Okay. Show me potato salad. Uh, no. Oh man. All right. It's. Konami. Konami. -doo. Yeah, they don't do that in the 64 bit era. It's just cling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cling. Deadly arts. Deadly arts. 
Deadly farts. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You played this already. Have I? Yes. I remember this title screen perfectly. Is the, is, this is the one with the point systems, right? No, that's Fighter's Destiny. No. Hmm. Because I remember yeah, Mike making a joke about game. all these uh, words here. Buzzword, 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 buzzword. Power! Hmm. I don't think we've played this one. Unless this game is similar to Fighter's Destiny? Yeah, it might be. Smelly farts. Yeah, no, I don't think we've played this. Everybody, everybody was trying to come up with the next fighting game. Yeah, I guess so. And yet, look what's still around to this day, what people play all the time. Oh, you can create a fighter. Like the right. same three fighting games? Mortal Kombat... Uh, Street Fighter. So Mortal Fighter, Street Ken, and Tekken <laughs> Fighter. We needed Eddie, a, a Eddie oh, Gordo's Taco Stand. Uh, we, I don't know. There is a King of Fighters game out. That's another one that comes out all the time. Uh, um, uh, Blaze Blue. We need another. Um, um, uh, <laughs> Um, Soul Calibur. Uh, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Soul Calibur. Yeah. Well, never mind. I guess you we, haven't played this game. We before. we need a new uh, Power Stone. That's true. We do. We need a new Eternal Champion. You know what? I would I would play a new one of those. Oh my God! You're setting the cave on fire. We need another. <laughs> uh... This cave is on fire. I uh, another um, um, killer instinct. You know, one that was actually was actually good. We need another primal rage, but we don't need another hero. Thank you, Tina. You're welcome. I'm gonna go back to my grave now. Round two, ready? What? You know, I I still can't believe that we're getting a new contra. Yeah. Is it like a two and a half D side scroller? Yep, it's set in Iran. Yeah, from uh, from way forward of all people. <laughs> it's the Iran Contra affair. Uh, I, I, have the, I have the Contra collection. And uh, I have the Contra same. collection. Contraceptive. I streamed uh, today, and I, I, I streamed all uh, space shooters. We don't need to shooters. know when you pee, Billy. I know. <laughs> Anyways, I, I streamed all shoot 'em ups today. That must have really hurt Not your time. dick. <laughs> it did. Uh -huh. But the upgrades were great. Yeah. Made you pee fast. And bigger. You know, uh... You never would have guessed it because the box art looked so shitty in the United States because they were like CG graphics. But uh, the character designs for the fighting game Tobol Number One were done by Akira Toriyama. Yep. God rest his soul. Yeah. Up, Hurry up! Time's running out. Uh, I think I lost actually. Yeah, he did. Yeah, she has more pixels than you. Oh, Miki. Yeah, her butt is more You're exposed so than mine is. And now I'm going to suck her it. off. Now apparently. eat it. Eat it. <laughs> Find the Dragon Balls. Look at them all. First attack. Don't Don't you make gonna catch them all, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. Lick my Dragon Balls. Smell my Dragon Balls. Eat my Dragon Balls. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's, it's it's a little it's been a little rough lately because like between that and uh, famous voice actress passed away also uh, who who did a lot of different voices for different things, um, but namely like the only thing that comes to mind is like Kilala from uh, Inuyasha. Oh, she died. Yeah. Oh, we need to we we need to 
Remember, okay, all right, we need to right, remember right. her by watching uh, Common Rider Tenkaichi eight, Budokai. Seven, six, <laughs> five, four, three. Would you? Two, could you say that again? That again. <laughs> that again. Thank. You. You're welcome. Godzilla. <laughs> I, I personally, my personal favorite was uh, Common Rider minus one. <laughs> First attack. Uh, uh, actually, I highly suggest the movie Shin Mask Rider. Shin Mask Rider, that's a good one. Yeah, it's on Amazon Prime. Awesome! Ten it's basically what if Quentin Tarantino did, uh, did uh, Tokusatsu. Yeah, uh, it's Quentin it's, Taran Satsu. It's it's pretty violent that movie. Yeah. I win. Shit Ultra Man was another I still good remember one. when I saw it in theaters, I was like, Jeepers, that's a lot of blood. The guy's head explodes. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> I was not expecting this. I would have thought PG. No, this is freaking rated R. Oh my god! Yeah. Uh, the funny thing is, is compared to Shin Ultraman, massive tonal difference. <laughs> Shin Ultraman was just like Ultraman. That's what I mean. Yeah. It, it was no different, other than instead of his crystal uh, changing on his chest, he changed color. As he weakened. Yeah. Which I thought oh, was a uh, good speaking, twist. Of, speaking of uh, Ultraman, uh, did you see the uh, Ultraman meme with uh, that VTuber uh, Bibu? No, I haven't. Oh uh, my god. I, I'm dyslexic, so I, always mis I mispronounce her name all the time because I'm dyslexic. Booby. That's the joke, Bill. She's got that uh, gem on the middle of her chest. It's, uh, that, She's got an uh, entire gymnasium like the, uh, on her chest. On yeah, she got huge tits. Huge right, tits. I see. <laughs> yeah, she's she's got that gem that looks like the uh, gem on the center of uh, Ultraman uh, Trigger. And uh, so somebody did like an animation of her going, Bee Boo Bee! Bee Boo Bee. And then, like, the gem starts flashing, and she starts going, Bebo, 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 Bebo. Oh, you mean like she, in Common Rider, the, the Winter troll. Soldier? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. We've been doing this the whole You know what? I, 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 I will we've say. We've been doing this the whole episode. Or, reality, or actually, in actuality, we we're doing this the whole episode. <laughs> In, in an alternate reality, there is probably a crossover between Kamen Rider and Captain America. And God damn it, that must be the most peaceful world. I mean, that, that's that's got to be uh, that would be an excellent movie. To see freaking Hongo Takeshi and uh, Steve Rogers riding motorcycles and fist bumping. Yeah, I'd love to see that. And fighting against Shocker and the Red Skull. Yep. It's a Hydra Shocker. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they would call it Hydra Shocker. Ready? Yep. Basically, Captain Japan and Captain America. I mean... Yep. I mean, so, uh, if you really want to go meta, you could have Captain Canada thrown in there, too, with Wolverine. Uh, or Captain Canuck. <laughs> I mean, Wolverine did team up with Captain America numerous times over the years. Well, even in World War II. Yep. Isn't there also uh, Captain Britain as well? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's actually a whole multiversal uh, group of them, the Captain Britain Corps. Oh, man, I can't wait for the first issue of Captain Greenwood. That's that <laughs> cool. Well, uh, there's Captain Lichtenstein. Captain Small but economical. <laughs> <laughs> Final sure. 
Captain Lichtenstein is a very small man because the country's very small. Right, I, I kind of gathered that. Yeah. He's, he's, he's like inch high private eye. Yeah, he's very short. He's like, uh, like, oh, man. He's, like he's like two feet tall. Yeah. Mm, not to scale. Mmm, namaste. Did you get that thing I sent you? <laughs> Did you get that thing I sent you? I sent you. No, I didn't. Ah, okay. Ha <laughs> ha, disappointing. You know, I, I love uh, the freaking uh, special episode of Harvey Birdman they did where Filkin 7 accidentally became president and Peter Potipus has a mental breakdown because he actually never sent anything in the first place. <laughs> oh my. I love weird episodes like and, that. Uh, kind of like the Seinfeld episode uh, where they went in reverse. No reason I mentioned that. Yeah, Philkin 7's whole thing is uh, he doesn't remember how he became president, so he's trying to uh, get impeached at, uh, uh, on the same day he gets inaugurated. He wants an inaugur impeachment. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a liquor. It does, doesn't it? Oh, you mean like service on <laughs> God damn it. A Naga Peachman is just like a Crown Royal Peach <laughs> and, and orange juice. It's just peach schnapps. Yeah. Mickey wins. Oh. Uh, have, did we ever play that Harvey Birdman? Will, will you actually get through this game? No, because uh, we're stopping it here. Thoughts on Deadly Arts, Dane? Good. It was um. It was an okay fighting yeah. game. It's no Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter, but it wasn't Dark Rift or whatever the fuck that. <laughs> yeah, Dark Rift. Yeah. It yeah. would take a lot to be as bad as Dark, Dark Rift. That took effort True. to be that bad. Uh, Jason. Uh, yeah, this this was just mid. You know, it, was, it was serviceable. Yeah. You know. Basically, like a bajillion other 3D polygonal fighters at the time, you know, like your Toshindans and your Virtua fighters. Yeah, uh, Billy. Um, it, it's better than War Gods. I mean, War That's Gods. True. War Gods was fine. I mean, it was not. It definitely was worse than this, but like, it's still better than Dark Rift. <laughs> That's yeah, it's a perfectly serviceable yeah, anything, 3D fighting anything game. Anything is better than a game with a walking clit for a monster. That's fair. Uh, yeah, this is a perfectly serviceable fighting game. Um, I don't see anything inherently wrong with it. It's just like it pretends it wants to be Tekken. It's not really Tekken. But it's fine. Scores out of 10, Dane. Six. Uh, Jason. Uh, four. Billy. Seven. I'll give it a six. Eat Hello, and welcome to Retro jump. Roulette. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. See, the joke is this is backwards because this is the April Fool's Day episode. Jason Amherst. Butt floss. And Billy Carter. Penis. 